Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up a YouTube channel. This is kind of part of the Google account series that I kind of want to start on this channel and I have literally left off right from the Google account tutorial. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And when I say I literally left off, I mean I've literally done nothing. I hit stop recording and then I hit start recording and I'm now doing this video. So we're gonna move on. So from your Gmail account or honestly from wherever within Google, as long as it's not YouTube because that's where we're going. Point is, you're going to eventually just go to YouTube and it says you're now registered with YouTube. Then you'll come over to my channel. As you can see, it will give you the process to start creating a channel. You'll put in your name and uh, or at least the way you want to use YouTube as. So if you want to be shown on YouTube as not your name, then this is where you would change it. And changes that you make here may show up across Google services. Um, blah blah blah. If you don't want to use your name, you can use a business name or other name, and this is where you would put that in. But brand accounts mean you create a Google Plus page, not a Google Plus account. Those are two different things. So I'm going to go back. We're just going to use my name. So no one try to find this channel. No one subscribe to it. This is literally going to get deleted after I finish the series. But yeah, so we're going to click create channel. It is then here you can also add your uh, a profile picture and add channel art. You can add a channel description if it would load for me. There we go. And then click done. You can click settings. You can adjust that. And I usually like to keep all my liked videos private, all my subscriptions private as well. Basically, I like to keep most of this private because, and then that way I have full control over what gets shown on the front page of my channel. I'm going to go ahead and, and enable that though. I click save. So then you can add featured channels. Uh, you'll enter the channel name or URL. So in this case, I'm going to add, and you click done. Then we can't edit this because this is basically going to show basically the channels you watch or that you've watched a lot while being logged into this account. I'm going to also come up here click edit links. So this is going to be where the little um, corner thing here with all your social profiles and whatnot are going to show up. Um, you can add your email for business inquiries. I've done that and I've had people email me and contact me for projects and it's been a blast. So anyway, I'm going to add a link and once you are done with that, you can click done. Once you have enabled the new layout, I guess, then you also have in the settings you can also show discussion tab so you can allow fans to comment on your channel and click save the next thing you want to do is come up to your account and click settings next you'll definitely want to click um, view additional features it is here that you can enable live streaming. I'm not gonna do this now, but you'll follow that whole process to enable a bunch of these. You'll just follow the instructions. I'm not gonna do some of these because then it involves sending a text to my phone and I don't, yeah. You also want to click verify, click submit, and now my channel is verified. You can now enable everything else. In the advanced settings, you can add a Google Analytics proper property tracking. That might be for a different tutorial. You can uh, have a associated website and you'll have to verify all that such. In a later tutorial, I'll show you how to link an AdWords account or AdSense so that way you can potentially be making money off of your YouTube videos once you reach uh, 10,000 views, but I'll get into that in a later tutorial. I believe that covers the majority of the basics of creating a YouTube channel account. So if you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below and I will make a part two to this or uh, and I will continue on with this series. So anyways, I have rambled on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can click right over here to subscribe to my respective channels and you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.